Hello, uh, my name is Ben Seromšić. I'm a software developer at Ericsson. And I'm here on the Mitaka OpenStack Summit in Tokyo and to talk to you about something we're working on, a feature, uh, an OpenStack feature we're calling Trunk Port. And uh, if you're following uh, Neutron Blueprints, uh, you have probably heard about it. Uh, but uh, if you're not, then let me tell you first what it is this, what this is about. So our basic question is, how do I attach many networks to an OpenStack instance? Can I do that today? Uh, the answer is yes, to some extent, depending on what we mean by many networks. So today, if I want to attach three networks, just like on the slide, I can just pass those three networks to Nova when I boot my instance, and OpenStack will automatically create the ports for me. And as soon as I log into my instance, I will see that for each port, there will be a corresponding VNIC, a virtual network interface card. If I'm using Linux, I will see three interfaces, ETH 0, 1, and 2. Does this work? Yes, it does. Uh, does this model have limitations? Yes, it does. For example, what if I wanted to access 100 networks, or what if I wanted to access 1,000 networks? Uh, does this model work then? Not really. Uh, what if I wanted to access networks dynamically, join and leave networks at will? Does this model work then? Not really. So, to sum up uh, what kind of use cases our feature is about, uh, let me show you this slide. So, think of use cases where you can have a network middle box run running in a VM, and that network middle box needs to access hundreds or thousands of networks. Uh, for example, like telco network function virtualization applications. Or if you have any need to dynamically join and leave networks while your instance is already running. Another use case just I started to hear about while here on the summit is coming from the OpenStack Courier project where they want to run containers inside VMs and they need something that they can use to distribute the traffic coming into their VMs uh, between the containers running inside. So before we go into the proposal of how to solve these problems, let me remind you of how trunk ports worked with plain old physical switches. So there, it was possible to uh, get through the traffic of many networks uh, through one port, but at the cost that you had to start to tag your traffic. So you had to start to encapsulate your traffic. So what if we did that uh, inside OpenStack? What if we said that, okay, all I want is one VNIC, and on that, I want to see, send and receive tagged or encapsulated traffic. So this is what this picture is about, that if I want to have a single VNIC inside my instance, then here I will be introducing some new terminology, then I want to have a trunk port that's practically representing that VNIC inside my instance. And I want to have subports which belong to networks as usual. And they also belong to the trunk port, so I can have a relation between the trunk port and the networks. So here, there's some extra information encoded that for each subport, we have to express what kind of encapsulation type and ID I want to see inside my instance, what kind of tag I want to see and uh, identify the network with. So here it is also an important note that this tag is not the tag that you use in 
the cloud fabric. This tag is not the tag you see in your top of rack switch. This tag is local to your instance and never leaves your instance. It ha has to be remapped between the cloud fabric and the instance. So if you want to implement this, then uh, let's have a look at uh, the current OpenStack APIs, mostly in some part of the Neutron API. I'm sure you all know this. The basic thing we have to look at here is the arrow that says that I can attach one port to one network. So how do I express with that that, OK, I want to have actually a port with many networks? There's no way without extending this. So how can we extend this so we can actually express that I want to have a port with access to many networks? Uh, our current spec uh, says that, OK, let's introduce two new extensions. One is the trunk port, and the other is the sub port. The trunk port is a full new resource, neutral resource. That's the one that's practically representing the VNIC we were talking about. And uh, that is the one that uh, needs to get pre-created before you boot your instance. That is the one that you have to pass to Nova to boot your instance. And then, uh, later on, you can create subports at any time, not, not necessarily before the VM is booted. And whenever you create subports, those are just neutron ports with a few extra attributes. And in those extra attributes, you have to express what kind of tagging or encapsulation you want to see. OK, uh, so if we have this API extension, then if you're interested in the details, later you will be able to download the slides and go through the nitty gritty details here. The basic thing that you will find in this slide with really, really uh, uh, small letters is that you have to create a trunk port first, boot your VM with it, and then at will you can attach and detach supports. Okay. So also if you're interested in the details, just feel free to uh, ask me later and I can uh, show you what's in here. Last but not least, I also want to call your attention that uh, your participation is welcome. Right now, we have a Neutron spec approved. We have a Nova spec under review. Uh, we have, I believe, a quite good design. We have a partial implementation. Some patches already up on review.openstack.org. And uh, we can definitely use a few helping hands. So if you have free cycles to send, your, send us your questions or notes, if you have a few cycles to review our stuff, or even if you want to spend, uh, spend, uh, send patches, you're very much welcome. In the slide, you will find a few ideas about uh, what it is left to done. Uh, that's, again, something to talk about after the uh, presentation. And uh, if you want to contact us, here we have a few URLs pointing to a wiki page to uh, our uh, patches on uh, review.openstack.org and a few email addresses, mine and uh, some of my colleagues. So thanks for your attention. And see you in Austin.